swear to God, my dog is the squirrel. As long as I hold this up here, he's gonna be here constantly. Should I keep you for the intro? So this video is gonna be the secret of how I went from a student who was getting a barely a 3.4 to a student with almost a 4.0. And what, do you wanna be in here? This video is part of my back to school series when I'm gonna be talking about, first of all, how to conquer school from like the studying perspective, which I already did a video on class presentations and the psychology behind the methods that I suggested in that video. So feel free to check that out. And I'm also gonna have the social part when I'm gonna be talking about how to make more friends, as well as how to get your crush to like you and what to keep in your emergency kit. So if you're interested in that, feel free to click the subscribe button down below. I'm gonna be giving you guys actual like legit techniques and explaining how they work and how they're gonna make you a better student. Let's go. Whoa, okay, so I look a little bit like that guy who's gonna sing like the real Slim Shady to you in class in 2000, but we're gonna roll with it. So the first technique that I thought of sharing with you guys is kind of basic, so I thought everyone would just like click out of this video if I said it. Therefore, I'm gonna start with something that is way less basic, which is called active recall. Now, how the active recall works is whenever you study a chapter or you finish a unit, you set a timer for 10 minutes, you take a blank sheet of paper, and you write down everything you can remember from that chapter. So what this does, it helps you identify the gaps in your knowledge you know every single time when you're about to take a test and all of a sudden you see a question that you're not sure if you even learned at some point that is your gap in knowledge every single time I have that kind of question on the test I check the book and I'm like why didn't I read this it's right there but then the thing is you actually read it but then you forgot because that's a gap in your knowledge and through repetition is how you get rid of gaps in your knowledge so first of all what you have to do is identify where the gap is which is what the active recall technique helps you with and then after that just compare the chapter to the paper that you wrote and what you wrote on the paper see which ones that you missed and then just go over the ones that you missed i just realized that the hat looked so terrible <laughs> But I don't want to refilm it, so you guys will have to deal with that. The second technique that I dare you guys to try this school year is... I actually don't know what it is really called, so I decided to call it Objects and Symbols. <laughs> a little story time before I get into this. So in literature class, we were assigned to memorize a Shakespearean sonnet. And this girl decided to procrastinate it right before there were 10 minutes left before the class. What I did was I drew a table. It's not easy. Before you click out, please let me explain. I swear there is a method to this madness. So this is actually how some people who are performing Shakespeare even learn their lines. This works the best when you have either a formula, a poem, or some kind of law that you need to remember. You take an object, and you associate each line to a specific part of that object. Then you keep drawing out the symbol, repeat the process a few times, and it's gonna be in your memory. So now you guys are gonna come along to learn one of the top secrets that no one tells you what the study method is. It's mother freaking sticky notes. Okay, now please hear me out because just like the last one, I promise there is a certain truth to this technique going to do it's not just like writing memos or like oh you look so cute today or like stay positive what you're going to do is take key information from your chapters put them on sticky notes and then stick these sticky notes everywhere in your house there's also a second way to use this method so what you do with the second way is you put either a question that you need to know for that chapter or a math problem that you're struggling to solve. You put those with the places that you need to access. Sample one of them on the microwave and put one of them on your fridge. And you're not allowed to open the fridge, open the closet, open the microwave, use it unless you answer that question on the sticky note or unless you solve that math problem. And I don't care if you need to go back to your textbook and relearn the material. If you don't know it, then that means you have a gap in your knowledge that you need to fill. So you better be getting that textbook before you're getting that croissant. Leads me on to my next thing. So the next technique that you definitely have to try is record yourself reading out your notes out loud and then listen to that recording as much as you can. 
This again goes for repetition to yourself, reading your notes on the bus, if you're going somewhere. Therefore, it gives you more time to do repetition, even in the places where you would not be able to do revision. So if you've made it to this point, made it to the end of this video, if you want to see more of the back to school tips, as well as the social part of this series, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos. And I love everyone who made it to this point so much, and even the people who did not make it to this point, but they're not hearing it, so just get out of here. We're, we're the best guys in here. I love you guys. I hope you have the best school year that you can possibly have. Good luck with your studies.